Indiana woman tonight is leading a charge to keep guns out of a popular coffee shop. Indiana law allows Hoosiers to legally carry a gun if they have a permit. But a Zionsville mom says Starbucks should join other businesses in banning guns at their stores regardless of the law. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Pence joins us live tonight at 530 to explain why. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Scott. That's right. Starbucks, one of many companies across the country that sides with local law on the gun debate. That means someone who has a permit can walk into a Starbucks, order a latte, and be carrying a weapon. A national organization growing very quickly, founded by an Indiana mom, wants to change that and make guns illegal in all Starbucks. You know, this is a picture of a man who was at Starbucks that day with his Glock and uh, two cups of coffee and a scone. Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America founder Shannon Watts shows us a picture from a follower on Twitter who's mad she's asking Starbucks to change their gun policy. I used to take my children and family into Starbucks all the time, not realizing that I was taking them and, and possibly exposing them to, to people who had weapons and loaded weapons. The Zionsville native started the online organization days after the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. Moms Demand Action has 100,000 members in nearly 40 states. These moms want increased background checks, assault weapons out of the hands of civilians, and ammunition purchase tracking. Like retail giant Walmart, Starbucks policy is to follow local law. But other corporations like Disney, Target, and Toys R Us have their own set of rules that ban carrying guns on their property. Shannon Watts says her group is targeting Starbucks and four other companies because they say it's about corporate responsibility. Starbucks has just banned smoking 25 feet outside of their stores. It's completely legal to smoke 25 feet outside their stores. They've even banned electronic cigarettes, yet they allow loaded guns in their stores. That is hypocrisy. Actually, I take my gun. I have at least one everywhere I go, unless they don't allow guns. Melinda Porter is with a different mom group, Indiana Mothers Against Gun Control. Porter says she's carried her revolver in Starbucks and other businesses that allow it, because it's her right with the Second Amendment. If they want to do something about gun violence, you don't go after the people that are abiding laws. The criminal down the street, he sees a sign that says no guns. He doesn't care. A media person for Starbucks told us today that they stand by their local law policy. Shannon Watts and other members of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America will hold a meeting at a local Starbucks tomorrow. They plan to gain signatures and they hope to take that petition to Starbucks CEO later this year. Reporting live downtown, Nicole Pence, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.